two at six, a Rhode Island hospital study that's receiving national attention. Researchers are examining what's behind the intentional swallowing of foreign objects. It's strange but true, and this growing problem is costing hospitals millions. Eyewitness News reporter Walt Buteau joins us now with more, live in the capital city with the Providence Global Newsroom. None of these incidents involve children, as you might think, and 80% of the adults involved had some sort of mental disorder, which you might guess. So they actually chose to swallow these items and caused a $2 million problem. Fixtures, uh, you name it, uh, depending upon how desperate the patient is, they'll swallow it. The shadow in this x-ray is a six-inch serrated knife. Here's a shot of it after it was removed from the patient. One piece of cutlery in a drawer full of unedible items. Spoons, utensil handles, uh, pencils, pens, markers, bed springs, uh, nuts, bolts. The x-rays are part of a new study that involved 305 cases, but only 33 patients who swallowed items, had them located with endoscopes, and removed with forceps and snares and other devices over and over and over. We know that the majority of these patients do have concurrent psychiatric diagnoses. They're depressed, they're bipolar, they're schizophrenic, they've had traumas in their lives. Uh, some of them are calling out for help, some of them are trying to control their environment, um, and some of these patients are what we would consider the sickest of the sick. Some of these and perhaps the sickest of the sick was one particular patient who did this 67 times, as we said, over and over again. The next step in this investigation is to try to figure out a way to control it and, of course, cut the cost. Live with the Providence Mobile Newsroom in Providence, Walt Buteau, Eyewitness News.